It's Mr. Sonnenberg here, actually reporting to you from the science lab today, not the man cave. Uh, so today we're going to talk about telescopes. Uh, this is for the Science 8 students studying light and optical systems. This is going to be topic 5 in your textbook if you want to reference it for study purposes. And the specific outcome that we're going to discuss, or what I would like you to know by the end of this, uh, this screencast, is that you can understand how microscopes, telescopes, and other optical devices were developed and that their development contributed to the study of light. Now, we're talking about telescopes now. There will be two more screencasts to follow, one about binoculars, one about microscopes, um, so you can understand some of the optical devices we use to study light. But telescopes are an extension of our human vision. So it's a way that we can see objects at a distance, and we can magnify, and we can actually zoom in on those objects, and we can see a clear picture, um, and, and see components of it uh, much larger than what it would appear if we were to look with the naked eye. Um, so for example, we can look at the moon, we can look at the mountain, we can look at uh, shapes on the moon, and we can do so um, because we're using lenses. And, and we use uh, two types of pro processes in telescopes, and we can use refraction or reflection. And we use mirrors, curved mirrors, and we use lenses. And we'll talk a little bit about that. But basically, when we extend human vision, it's just developing tools that can help us to see farther or help us see tiny, small objects or microorganisms. Okay? So we can look into the vast uh, uh, areas of outer space, or we can look at tiny microorganisms or bacteria under a microscope, and we can view cells. Uh, we can view planets. So, pretty interesting uh, the size of a cell compared to the size of a planet, but we can view both because of these extended human vision devices. Okay, so I've just shown some pictures of some telescopes here. Okay, so the first telescope we're going to talk about is called the refracting telescope. Okay, so what this is going to do is it, a telescope is going to help us see distance, uh, distant objects more clearly. Now, a refracting telescope is, is relatively basic. This is the telescope that a pirate would pull out and they would look. Okay, uh, same concept, all right? So what we have is, is we have a, uh, we have an eyepiece, okay, which is going to have a lens right here, okay? And then we also have an objective lens, and the objective lens's job is to collect as much light as possible, okay? And then it's going to focus, um, and it's actually, the, this objective lens is going to be a convex lens, okay? And... Remember, convex lenses, uh, if we had a double convex lens, it's going to look like such. It's going to bubble out. If we had a convex lens, it's going to look like this. It's going to bubble out. Okay, and so then we're just going to collect as much light as it can. Convex lenses, as these arrows describe, it's going to cause light to converge, which means come together. And it's going to come together at a focal point. Okay, so the light is entering in the arrow of the directions, comes to a focal point, and then it's going to cross, and then the light will continue on, and it will reach the eyepiece. And from there, then we will see the image in our eye. So this is, like I said, like the pirate's telescope. Okay, just drew you a picture right here of what it would look like as well. So the image actually forms, so now we can form that image from distant objects. Okay, so we have objective lens, light rolls through to a focal point, and then we just have the eyepiece, and those are convex lenses that are going to help us to magnify the image. Um, if we wanted to make a refracting telescope, we could take two magnifying glasses, we could take a cardboard tube, and we could actually stuff them in uh, the cardboard tube at a certain distance, and we could look through it, and we could hold it up, and we could look through it, and we'd be able to magnify images as well, and that's basically this, how a refracting telescope works. So, two lenses, one objective, one eyepiece, at uh, the right distance so that we can focus in on objects. The objective lens is going to collect the light. The light will converge because it is a convex lens and then it will hit a focal point and then it will reach the eyepiece and then it will actually end up and we can take the image in through our eyes as the light will pass right through our eyes and we'll form the image on a retina. Send it through the optic nerve to the brain where we can process and create a mental image. Okay, so that's refracting telescopes. So that's one of the two telescopes. The next one we'll talk about is called reflecting telescopes. And, and these are pretty cool as well. And a relatively simple concept as well. So this is going to use convex mirrors. So 
the convex mirror is going to be found right here. So uh, if you just take a look right there, there's your, or sorry, concave mirror. Sorry, uh, make sure you get that correction. It's a concave mirror. And so it caves in, right? So I know some students said, oh, it looks like the Hurley symbol. So look, a double concave mirror would look like this. But anyways, what it's going to do is going to capture the light. So light is traveling in this direction here. So the light is going to reach and it's going to capture as much light as it can through this aperture or this opening. Okay? Gearing so forward to the open now what's going to happen? Forward to the open now what's going to happen is sorry, I just had a little announcement there. Now what's going to happen is the light is going to bounce off this mirror and it's going to divert its direction onto this plain flat mirror right here. Okay? And then it will reflect through the process of reflection onto this lens and then converge into our eye and form the image. So light comes in, okay, in this way, hits this lens, urch, changes direction, okay, and then it makes its way to this plane mirror, and then it's going to reflect and ricochet off up through the eyepiece up on top. And that uh, basically is how uh, the reflecting telescope works. So it's a little different, okay? Um, so we have the uh, mirror, which our concave mirror, okay? It collects the rays, and we call it the primary or objective mirror. And then it's going to form the real image and then magnify, uh, which is going to be magnified by the eyepiece and the lens. So that is the reflecting telescope, which is the other type of telescope. And then lastly, to sum this up, we'll just talk a little information about both telescopes. But the lens and refracting telescope and the mirror and the reflecting telescope, they collect as much light as possible. Okay, So we take these distant objects that are, that are luminous and they're giving off light and we collect as much light as we can. Okay, And then what happens is once we've collected, those objective lenses have collected the light, then they're going to focus the light uh, into an image. And that's how we form that image, right? And then, so the further away the image is from the lens, or say the mirror and reflecting, the greater the magnification. So if it's farther away, then we have greater magnification. And if you want the most magnification, uh, then the telescope needs to have a large distance, or the largest distance possible uh, between the object being viewed and its image. Okay, so the farther our telescope can be, uh, the more magnification we can see. And magnification is going to be uh, making things bigger. So if I was to say I wanted to magnify something, well, let's just say I had this ball and I wanted to magnify it two times. Okay, well, I'll make it twice as big. And now these aren't accurate, obviously. What if I want to make it uh, ten times? Well, ten times magnified. Well, now I'm going to make it even bigger, right? So I'm magnifying, making it larger. And so that's what we're doing with the image with telescopes. Is we can see far away distant objects and the larger and the longer the distance uh, between the object and the image that's created, uh, the greater the magnification that's going to occur. So we have some giant telescopes out there that help us. Uh, there's some up in space, there's some on the ground that help us to see planets, that help us to see distant distant objects because they have such huge magnification and they have such giant lenses but they have brought the science into it and the distance is very important when you're creating a telescope and we'll get an opportunity to create some telescopes here as well so anyways guys that's telescopes uh, we will have uh, binoculars coming and uh, microscopes as well hopefully this has helped make sure you take some notes uh, and uh, write these things down if you have questions bring them to class okay thanks guys Bye.